we don't have any language restrictions. Oh, Be yourself, right. relax, and have a chat with us. Okay, here we go. Hello, Sirius. My friend Alice. Just, she, she just, just I am just, oh my god, I can't wait. <laughs> Loving it! <laughs> she just, she's already in the zone. She's in there. Good music, right? No, that's not from the 70s. That is brand new music by Beverly McClellan. Love will find a way out. That's from her new album. It's called Fear Nothing. 40 minutes past the hour. I'm Larry Flick, and this is your morning jolt on Sirius XM LQ 108. Keith Price is here, and Beverly's here too. Good morning. Uh, hi, everybody. You have a lot of energy I for know, this right? hour of the morning. I just. I like, I like it. I like it. We we're used to rock stars coming in and giving us an attitude. Oh no. I like no. to see a girl with some energy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, you you know what? This is this is all a beautiful ride, man. I'm still enjoying it, and I'm mm. I, well, you know. good. That's good, good. Don't let it. Don't let it sour you because yeah, no, then, then no. you then you be ugly. Oh, you know. Then you be kicked out. <laughs> <laughs> so congratulations on all the great things that are happening for you Thank right you now. Thank you so must much. Be, Thank you. You must be still sort of in this surreal bubble. I it, it's still a pinch me moment. You yeah. know, I'm just taking it day by day, doing you know whatever the good Lord gets me up to do. So we're gonna we're gonna rewind back and and and. I'm wondering what possesses a woman like you, who is not the stereotypical television competition singer, to enter the voice. Oh goodness! Uh, it, it really was a, it really was like a dare. Actually, my friend was like, "I know you won't do it. You know, uh, I'm going to send you the email anyway. Just check it out. See what you think. You know, yeah. look, check it out, babe. There's no." You know, age restriction. There's no. They don't care what you look like. Just yeah. go sing for them. And I was like, Yeah, okay, I'll try. You know, whatever. And I sent them the video. And an hour later, they're calling me back. I, I really thought it was just maybe a fluke. You know, wow. not not real. And 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 it was. So. And and so, how did it feel not only to to be uh, encouraged to show up on stage and not have to put a wig on because you're you bald girl, <laughs> yeah. you know. To not cover the tattoo, because a lot, the thing about yeah. a lot of the, the talent competitions, other than the voice, is that they want a certain kind of conformity. And and uh, my guess, and I would love you to correct me if I'm if I if I've got it wrong, is they don't want you to hide anything about yourself, including your sexuality. Oh no, we just you know I, it never was a question at all that I would hide anything about myself because that's not who I am mm. as a person. So. Never mind that NBC went hand in hand with me. They just, they were like, yeah, just go be yourself. They, they never said one way or the other. They were just, you know, and even my coach was like, just go do you. No one can do you yeah. like you. And Christina, she was right. She know? was right. She was right indeed. Uh, I, I, I remember saying on this very show to Keith that uh, the night you appeared and not only made it through, but got such a huge rousing response from from the audience, from the judges, that this was going to be a show that was going to be different and it was going to be worth watching. Oh yeah. You know, because yeah. it wasn't going, you weren't going to have to go through um, a lot of the, the uncomfortable weirdnesses that a lot of folks have had to go through on other shows. Like I'm thinking about Absolutely you know, not. Adam Lambert's become a good friend and you know, and boy oh boy did they put him through it during, yeah. the, during oh, those yeah. three months. I can only imagine. <laughs> I mean they tortured him. They tortured yeah. him. Don't say this, don't mm -hmm. do that. So. Um, were you worried uh, at any point about how Middle America was going to respond to you? No way. Really? No way. Why? I, I have lived my life not caring. Why would I care now? Well, the stakes are higher. You, it, it doesn't matter. I'm still me at the end of the day. And no matter what, you meet the same people on the way up as on the way down. So yep. you might as well just be yourself. Here I think you're absolutely you? right, but I'm, I'm impressed with your confidence. You know? I really am. I think it's fantastic. So, so you. when you when you made it, to, you, I mean, you made it as far as the top three. You did I, to me. It was it was a, it was a three winners because all three of you have. Was it four? Yeah, it was four. It's okay. Fourth. 
We got Vicky Martinez. We got oh my God! Right. Yeah, you know what? You know why? Let's I, not forget Vicky. She's you my. Know, you know why? You know why? Y'all are allowed to love her. I love her. <laughs> I love her too. But yeah. you know what? You know why? I forgot about Christine for the record out yet. That's right. Oh, but you just wait. It's, it's coming, coming, honey. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Good, 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 good. Everybody's saying over in the corner. Yes, yeah, sir. It's All right. Yeah. No, 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 no. I love. Uh, no, 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 no. May I'm really first. Happy. Don't, don't, don't oh, yeah. that. But I'm thinking about the records I've heard so far because I've heard your record. Right. I've right. heard Dia Franjan's record, yeah. which is unbelievably yeah, oh, good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And Javier's record, which is very, very. To me, you're all doing very nicely. You're very, very nicely so far. We're all doing what we love. Yeah. And how, at the end of the day, can you go wrong doing that? If you find a job that you love, you'll never work a day in your life. That's a very true thing. So it's a very know, true it, thing. It, that's just the best truth. <laughs> so, so, so when when the show is over and and it comes time to uh, look at what you want to do next, uh, just from I I I I I've listened to the record Fear Nothing. I was just I I was listening to it from 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 MP3s so that was sent to me. That's why I asked you if you brought a CD so oh, I could yeah. see the credits. You wrote all the songs on this record. Most. I, Most? I, I have a Nina Simone on, on there, cover as uh, Nobody's Fault. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, it's like, what is that, one song, darling? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just looking through the credits, and I'm just seeing Beverly's name all over it. Mm -hmm. well, yeah, I got, I got a lot inside of me. And, 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 and publishing you know, on Girl. And I had the the honor of having Kevin Moby on that with me as well. Yes. Just, that's that's yes. a smooth cat right there. He's a good dude. I know I know Kevin. He's a good guy. Yeah. So, so... Um, what? How how long had you been holding on to these songs, and or did you did you kind of go out of the voice and into a writing experience that mm. was kind of reflective of where you were? Some of these are a reflection of my past, uh, just like uh, let's say uh, Precious Times is uh, something that I've had for a while. But I just thought, wow, this is you know, you, you, if you listen to the song, it's everything that I write is something I have lived and that I can easily sing about because I believe in it, you know. Uh, the blues is the truth at the end of the day. We, we, you know, I don't have any backup dancers or any of that good stuff. It's just straight up music, so, and it's from my heart. Uh, at the end of the day, you know, that's the stuff I want to sing over and over, you know, something right. that I've lived, something that I can honestly say I had a part in, you know. I don't, I don't, I can't speak for any other music. I, li I listen to all kinds of music, but you know what I write from my heart is stuff that is that I've lived and so, experienced. You so know? after after this this big mainstream television experience, how many times did you have to say no to songs by other writers, more mainstream sounding stuff? I mean, your music has has an infectious flavor to it, but it's definitely grittier than the average record that comes from an artist who's been on a show like The Voice. How many times did you have to say no? I, uh, I, never, re I never really listened to the other side to say no. I just kind of ah. already had my mind up what I was going to go do, and that was continue being myself. Just, you know, now with obviously, you know, the world behind me to help me unfold my wing and, and, and my wings to fly like I should be flying, you know, instead mm -hmm. of sitting in one town doing it five nights a week paying my bills that way, you know, for 20 right. years. This is what I've been doing for 20 years. Yeah. Regardless of, you know, and then the TV just, you know, NBC and The Voice, they just lifted me up and gave me air beneath those wings and said, fly, girl, fly. You know? right, well that's Beverly McClellan with us here <laughs> on your morning joke. The album we're talking about is called Fear Nothing. Let's listen to uh, another song from the album. This is uh, the opening track. It's called I See Love. 